Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Before I get started on this vlog, I want to tell you a funny story that I forgot to tell on Breakfast Stream. I tweeted about it, but it, it was fun and I want, to, I want to be able to express myself exactly how it happened. Last night, in the middle of the night, and I, I do mean the middle of the night, I was awoken from a, from a, from a neighboring wife who <laughs> growled loudly in the middle of the night. You're smiling. You remember? Do you remember? You remember it happening? Okay. Last night in the middle of the night, I was awoken because Mallory all of a sudden went rawr, rawr, rawr. and it scared me because I was having a dream and I heard the sound and it didn't make sense within the dream. So I woke up, realized I was in the room and it was happening in the room. All of that happened in a very quick instant and it scared the crap out of me. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And Mal, so Mal ended up woken up. She's like, what, what's, what's going on? And I was like, you were growling. You were growl and she starts laughing. And she's still like clearly very sleepy. She goes, she goes, Oh, that makes sense. There was a turkey leg. And then falls back asleep. And that was the entire Do you remember more I, to what was no, going I on? I don't remember any more than that. <sighs> Sorry. Apparently you just really feel adamant about turkey legs. I don't know. Anyway, um So that was that was my funny story. Anyway, it is Thursday, welcome to Thursday. It's also July, which means for one, half of the year is over. Let's not focus on that part. Let's focus instead on the more exciting part, which is there's a new Artist Series shirt. This is the Heroes of Adventure shirt uh, by Loopy Mongoose. She did an incredible job I'm trying to find a, there we go. This is kind of to celebrate uh, the conclusion to the Breath of the Wild stream you know if you're watching it on twitch it's over if you're watching it on youtube it's still going it's still going on uh it's got me and mao and kep and uh non uh, a random elf boy who knows who that elf boy is i don't know random nondescript elf boy uh that's available now on uh stevenshop.com as well as while i've got you here i'll just quickly show this off we've also got team lemonade mugs because we we change up the uh the cups that are available on breakfast stream from time to time. Anyway, um, now I've got to end the, not end the whole vlog, but end the clip because we've got to go. Um, we're mailing off the, uh, the recent paintings that my dad did. If you ordered one, it's going out today. Um, by the time this vlog comes out, you'll have it almost certainly. And I have, uh, I'm doing a physical. Last week I got blood work. Today I'm doing the physical and uh, we're going to find out how I'm, how I'm doing. And hopefully I'm doing hopefully I'm doing good. So this was a pretty big deal. Um, this is the first time that we've tried to pick up mail uh, at a different post office. So what's happened is our post office burned down um, and we were just kind of like, uh, what happens? All of our mail is getting sent to a different post office. So we came to not only send out Mal's your uh, dad's. Well, my dad's, well, you packaged them. So in my brain, it's like Mal's. My dad's paintings not only send those out, but then also to pick up um, our P.O. Box mail. Our P.O. Box mail. And there was a ton of it. The other thing that was really nice is that we got to see all of the different folks that worked yeah. at our our post office. So they're here. We talked to we talked to one of the ladies and she said it feels weird. She said it feels almost, you know, like we're homeless because our job is gone and we're in this different place. And they've worked at the other post office for years and years and years. They said uh, what they're doing is they're going to get... Um, some boxes set up at the location and there's going to be a mobile unit so we won't have to keep coming here but they don't know when that's going to happen they're working on it but at some point we'll be going back to the physical location it's just it won't be a building it'll be a, a, a what parking looks like lot. a food truck and a bunch of outdoor yeah. mailboxes so it was nice to see them though yeah. um you know they they're not thrilled with the situation but who would be but they're working and um your mail is arriving. You know, yeah. if, if you sent mail, like we got a ton of mail 10, from June. 10, 11 things? Yeah, so we have it. Now, again, if it was sent in that specific time and it was in the building, then I don't know. But but right? If you have tracking or yeah. if you want us to check something for this point, we can check. Yeah, like it's, we the, the trunk is full of mail. So 
keep sending it to the same address, um, to the PO box you've always been sending it to. Um, as always, check the mail FAQ in the description of mail videos and to know the, the most up-to-date thing, but I don't think we need to change our, our address. It's still getting to us. Cool. All right, now, doctor. Doctor hasn't come in yet. But we're here. Have you read any good books? Like, have you read? You don't tell me when you read books, so I don't. No. No. Okay. We're turning into werewolves. Woo! Doctor went well. I'll talk about that in a in, in a bit. Uh, we are doing game night again tonight, and uh, we played we played a quick round of um, what's it called? Tra trial, trial by trial. Tri trolley trolley trial by trolley. That's it. And uh, had some dinner, and now we were looking through Mike, the Michael one. Michael did win. He had the least amount of um, bad points. I just want him to get his credit and we're trying to just do. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Uh, now we're playing, we're looking at the game shelf and um, we have one on here called Escape Room in a Box Werewolf Experiment. Uh, someone sent this in a while back and um, it's been sealed. We haven't opened it and we're like, hey, let's do that. That looks fun. So uh, it's open and it. Man, there's not a lot of instruction. Like, there's a sheet at the beginning that's like, don't destroy anything. And it's like, you have an hour, go. And that's it. And it's just like a collection of puzzles. I mean, there's not much I can do over here. So. There's like a word search. I mean, what have you, what have and then you there's like a crossword. So check, check next one. And, two, and I don't know what that is. And then there's a bunch of other these stuff. You've got. Like yeah. These correspond to something. Every word touches another word. This, anyway. Like so I don't know. At some at some point, uh, there's more information we read in like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. That's more entertaining though. Whatever's going on over there. Will's excited about this. Mal's um, going to join in, but right now she's making what is this? Oh, Vermont okay. maple pecan muffins. So we're gonna have some muffins that we can eat here in uh, in a little bit. Apparently, the fastest that this can be done is 14 minutes, but they give you 60. I've never actually managed to finish an escape room, so um, I'm hoping that with the help of my well, friends that we can do it. Like, I, haven't, I haven't done one, period, so... Oh, really? I haven't done one either. Oh, yeah, Mal, yeah, Mal has it. Well, okay. Well, all of you get to do one tonight. And this is it. This is the one you're doing. Star crossword. A-N-O? Or and. Yeah, it's a capital D. <laughs> yeah. That was the hardest puzzle. <laughs> Rub the special paper between your paws. What should what should say? You win. Um, I have coated this paper with the antidote. Where, yeah, rub it between your hands. <laughs> I wonder if it heat activates. It's like <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Good go work. It, go hold it against the oven. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think this is a thing. Okay. I think it <laughs> I think it's just I think it's just theming. I don't I, in a minute it's just gonna be on fire and be like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, do do the light on it. The ultraviolet. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not the shiny. It also says on the paper that you can just uh, re download everything and like print it. So like you can do it. Infinite times. In what hole punch? Out? Well, I mean, you can't. Well, you I can't. Mean, you don't write on that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. You can't do it infinite times if you've already played it because, like, you know how to do it. But you, you know, you could. Do you think you couldn't play this tomorrow and you'd remember any of this? Well, I spent about twenty-five minutes of it in the bathroom, so I would be lost. It's a completely oh new. Oh my god! What happened to this? Yeah, I'd be like, what? What? <laughs> game? Have we played this before? I'm not sure. To finish up the night. We played Ascension. It's the first time in a long time, actually, yeah. that we've that we've played. Dan and Lindsay had to go home, so they didn't quite finish. But the four of us finished. Did anyone score higher than 50? Yeah. Yeah. Did anyone score higher than 60? Yeah. Did anyone score higher than 70? Mm-hmm. Did anyone score higher than 80? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had 84. 83. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that was close. 93? 90. Wow. Okay, good job. 
That was close. Hey, I was I didn't know where the point distribution was going to be. So that's Ascension. It's, you know, it's Dominion, but it has different art. <laughs> and the rules are just a little bit different. Great app. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the one they went with, but they could if they wanted to. I Did you know I've actually never played Dominion? I'm just like... You shouldn't advertise for them, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with it vaguely, so that's how I've always explained it to people. I'll be like, have you played Dominion? They'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, well, it's, it's like that. And they've never corrected me. They've never been like, this is completely different. So I'm like, it must, it must not be too far off. So everyone just left. And I got to tell you, I had a good time. I had, a, I had a, a really good evening. Also, as I said at the very beginning of this vlog, uh, it is... July, which means it is time to say thank you to our Patreon producers. Their names are scrolling along at the bottom of the screen now. If you'd like to learn more about Patreon, how you can support Mal and myself, and the perks that come along with that, there's a card on screen or a link in the description of this vlog. Um, now let me tell you about the doctor, because I kind of skimmed over that, and that's just because when we got home, uh, we got busy doing other things and then eventually cleaning the house to, for everyone to, to come over. Um, and I didn't have time to in, insert that part into the into the vlog. So let me tell you what the um, the consensus is. I'm well. It's kind of the kind of the consensus. Now, one of the things that happens every time I have blood work, every time I blood work, is that my cholesterol readings are high. And I've talked about that before, but that is because high cholesterol just runs in my family. Um, it is a there's a specific condition. Um, it's called uh, uh, familial hypercholesterolemia, uh, and basically it just means that your body does not absorb or get rid of or or, or whatever uh, cholesterol as good as it should, and as a result, foods give you more cholesterol than than other people. So your cholesterol levels are higher. I've never been diagnosed with that, but um, my mom has, and it's kind of it's kind of a known thing. And also, it it would explain very quickly and easily why my uh, cholesterol levels, both HDL and LDL, are elevated. Um, now, I had seen a doctor in the past who was uh, a little what's the expression? Wet behind the ears, green behind the ears. When you're like you you haven't been in the practice a long long time. Is it wet or green? Something, something behind the. <laughs> Which one is? I don't know. They hadn't been in the practice long, and they were really concerned. And I, I think it was just one of those things that they were not aware. Since then, I've seen a different doctor who is actually retiring and who has been doing this a long time. And she was like, "You don't have anything to worry about. Your levels are elevated. It's true, but they're fine. They're not in like a danger zone." And she said, "At your age." You're you're really you're okay. Your your risk of heart attack or, or stroke um, is extremely extremely low. And she said, "What I would do for now, until you're 40, is when you think about it, eat something. You know, focus more on like eating plant based stuff instead of like animal fats. You know, it's not that you can't. Um, it's just don't go crazy eating all of that stuff. And you know, when you're thinking about it." Try and do something like that. And I was like, okay. And, and that's, that tends to be how I am anyway. Um, I feel like for the most part, Mount and, Mal and I eat pretty well. We don't really make anything too crazy. And occasionally when we're out of town or something, we want to try something a little unique that might be a little weird or crazy, then we'll do that. But it's not, it's certainly not an everyday thing. So I'll probably be all right. Um, otherwise, all my, my blood stuff came back really well. Um, I also talked to the doctor, you know, during the physical about um, uh, how I've been feeling in terms of, I had some sciatica issues a while back, but they were pretty brief. I've continued to have a little pain and discomfort in my hip, although I feel like that may have been related to how I was sitting, and I've tried to be very conscious about how I'm, how I'm sitting, and I think it's helped a little bit. It certainly made the sciatica part where I was feeling the kind of the jolts like from my back to my leg, that's gone. Um, knock on, knock on wood. 
the bigger issue I, I've, I've dealt with recently is the ulnar nerve stuff. And, um, you know, the, the doctor is obviously a, a general care doctor, not a, a specialist for this sort of thing, but said, you know, as long as I'm being consciously aware of it and I feel like the problem is not getting worse, then it's probably fine. And nerve things like this just take a long time to heal, which is true because the first time that I dealt with all this, it took like two months. And she said it can take up to six months for, for serious stuff to, to, you know, to, to fix itself. So I said, all right, I'm going to continue to um, just be careful with it. You know, I, I have talked on the vlog before about how this all started, which was me playing uh, Slay the Spire on mobile and having my arm bent up for long periods of time while I was playing it. As long as I'm thinking about that and I'm trying to take some steps to be careful and mindful of, of how I'm sitting and how I'm working and doing things like that, then I should be okay. And if I get worse, then I'll go from there. That being said, it won't be with this doctor because this, this doctor who has been our primary care physician for how long, Mal? So a few years? Since she went to practice. Yeah, f probably three or four years maybe. Um, well, we've really liked her, but she's actually retiring in a month or two. So uh, we'll have another, another doctor at some point. But yeah, the good news is things, things are good. Um, things are good. The only thing I'm going to do at some point, and I'm just going to mention it here because if I don't mention it here when it finally happens, people will be like, what's going on? Um, is that I do have a family history of some neurological things. And while I'm not really experiencing any of that stuff now, the doctor thought that it might be a good idea to do a, a test to have a baseline on record. So that might be something that I do later this year at some point. Um, so that I might get a referral for that just so that's, and again, it's, it's not anything serious. It's just, you know, so we kind of start building data for that sort of thing now. Um, that's one thing I'll be, I'll probably be doing this year, but at least whenever I'm like, I'm going to the doctor for this thing, folks will remember this vlog and be like, oh yeah, he said he was going to do that. So don't be alarmed when that happens. Yeah. Anyway, tonight was fun and it's always a joy to, uh, to hang out with folks and, uh, play games and, and do things like that. And I look forward to doing it again real soon. May was really busy. June chilled out quite a bit, and I can already tell, <laughs> bless you, and I can already tell you that July is going to, it's going to kind of ramp up a little bit in terms of like, oh, things are getting busy, but it's, it's a good kind of busy. I don't want to spoil anything. It's a good kind of busy. I can't wait for you guys to see what's happening in July. And when it happens, you'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is a good busy. Yeah, it's good busy. All right. I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?